and welcome back. We have with us this morning from Help Age Belize, we have with us Maria Elena Sylvester, who's the patroness of Help Age Belize. We have Ivorine Bulwa, who's the executive director of Help Age Belize, and we have Dari Nicholson, who is the chairperson of Help, of Help Age Belize City Branch. Welcome ladies as we talk about international day of older persons very very interesting topic can i jump in by first saying that for belize which currently has a population that is heralded as being 60 percent young like marlene that this topic of elderly persons is a bit removed from what our reality is as a population right now how do you respond to that before we get into the details of International Day of Older Persons. Jump right in. Okay. First <laughs> of all, good morning, Belize. Yes. Good morning. Um, yes, it's, uh, we have a very young population. However, we need to be mindful uh, that for that young population to have been realized, there has to be a history. And it's important, as the team has indicated, yes, it means speaking about um, human rights champions or elderly were the champions, are our champions. And uh, they have a history as it pertains to where we are now. And it's important that we honor, it's important that we give homage it's important that we give recognition to those who have led the path to the now. Okay? And it's, yes, life is a cycle. And at some point, based on our longevity, you young people will arrive mm -hmm. at that stage of older persons, which is considered 60 years and over. Yeah. All right, and it's important that along the life cycle, there is nurturing, there are rights, uh, there are needs that must be met. Yeah. Yeah. What is the current population of older persons in Belize? You're looking at about 6.1% 6, 6 of that okay. population considered older persons. Yeah. Um, in Belize City, with the highest about 8,000 plus. Okay. Next in line is Akayo, 5,000 yeah. plus. Yeah. Followed by Corozal, then Orange Walk, Stan Creek, and Punta Gerda. One, yeah. of, the, one of the quotes I always love um, is that aging is a privilege. And uh, it's something I, I think we don't often think about. Um, because we don't recognize that uh, there are a lot of health implications in being able to get there. Um, and uh, if you have taken care of yourself, there are many more years to go after 60. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's where uh, I find some of the greatest challenges. Life expectancy in Belize is 74, 76? Yes, 74, that. 76. Yes. So it means that after you have become, you've, been re you've retired, whether at 55 or 60, you have you know, at least two decades to, to continue your life. And the quality of life that these privileged persons get to experience is really where your role comes in, in advocating mm -hmm. for elderly persons. So mm -hmm. when I get there, whatever work you've done should have made my life easier and I can continue to fight for others. Certainly. Tell me about that perspective, looking at the elderly of today, but also putting in foundation blocks for the elderly of tomorrow. Well, to be honest, that's what Help Age is all about. Yeah. Because when we started in 1984, with a grant from Help the Aged UK in England, there wasn't even a Help Age International. Mm -hmm. We were before Help Age International. Wow. And since then, when we started with one small office in a side, I think Castle Street, 1984, um, we now have 11 branches throughout the entire country. And HelpAge has, I think, raised the sensitivity 
of the aging process yeah. to our country. So that now, hardly anybody don't know what Help Age is all about. Yeah. And it's not only about, you know, knowing that there are some of our members that are in very, very desperate conditions, and they are, and that is a great chunk of what we do. But also there is a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, and, and Mrs. Nicholson will talk to that, yeah. about how it jumps every day of the week, mm -hmm. almost, except when? Thursday, when we do the Meals on Wheels. Mm -hmm. And being a part of Help Page is about camaraderie, about sharing memories, sharing experiences. So what we are saying here, do not be afraid to get older. You only get better. Mm -hmm. yes. And part of what I need to say is that this theme is about the champions mm -hmm. of human rights for the elderly. And every year we have a gala where we recognize one person in our society that has made a tremendous impact on the lives of all our Belizeans. Our first, uh, our first awardee was Miss Jane Usher, Mrs. Jane yeah. Usher, yes, who this year is 101 yeah. mm -hmm. and still is very active Strong. and bright yeah. and, you know, very vibrant. Who so goes to work every day. And then last year it was Mrs. Maud Williams, eight children, you know, uh, an educator, uh, one of the founders of Carnival. All her children have been huge successes. And this year it was Aman. our former Prime Minister, ah, mm -hmm. Sir Manuel Esquivel, <laughs> yes. and his contribution. And, and, and I think HelpAge has really taken on something that has clicked with everybody. Mm -hmm. That we are, we are putting out an invitation to say, if you know of somebody that needs to be recognized like that, doesn't have to be a prime minister, doesn't have to be somebody that is 100 years old. I have a few who, as you say, human rights champions. I immediately have a tune in, and I'll give you them off air. Okay. <laughs> so you can have the surprise. Now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's that's the point, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and I've always found we don't hear enough stories from uh, the older, the elderly community, and they have really been the ones who. And I go back to it. They are the foundation setters, as we are the foundation setters for those of the future. Um, how do you get in touch with? Uh, with different people in communities across the country? Because we talk Belize City, but there's also people who've contributed significantly yeah. in Cayo, in Corozal, in PG. Um, so how do you keep that network going and ensure that we know where these uh, champions are, whether they've made it to the final uh, awardee position or just been recognized in a nomination process? Tell me. You know, across, one of the things we need to share as Ms. Sylvester had cited. Mm -hmm. We have 11 branches. Yeah. Two day activity cent nine day activity centers and two residential homes. Yeah. Within all sites, there are branches run by older persons. They are administered, they are managed by older persons. Mm -hmm. In the 11, at the uh, 11 sites. And there is that relationship with the community. Mm -hmm. There is that partnership with businesses, with individuals, with schools, mm -hmm. that ongoing participation. And so, yes, they are able to have that interaction. They're able to create that awareness mm -hmm. in respective communities. At the same time, we monthly, there is a monthly reporting documented reporting so we are fully apprised of what is going on if there are issues that need to be resolved there is that contact we have a national board and we have an executive board or national board meet quarterly the executive board meets 
every month. Mm -hmm. And so we're able to dialogue, we're able to address issues, we are, we are able to be kept informed. Yes. Can I ask, the, the way that a society treats its elderly speaks to the personality, the quality and health of that society. I wanted you guys to assess where Belize is in terms of the way we treat older persons. How do we stack up internationally to where we should be and where are we? What kind of society is Belize, judging from the way we treat this is older this persons? Is well, um, we have enough members. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. We do, we do have some challenges in that area. Uh, but you, if you want to look at the broad spectrum, when it, you're looking at needs, um, we're talking about the health perspective. I think in that area, we're doing a fairly good job. Yes, there are still areas that need to be addressed because countrywide, our older persons are able to access the health system. Yeah. Um, we have, uh, last year, we were able, through the Ministry of Health, a partnership established so that we now have a geriatrician. For the first time, the country have had a specialist, a geriatrician, a person that looks after the older persons. Yeah. And we also have a physiotherapist assigned to help age. And we, we have partnered with the Ministry of Health to bring care to the elderly because we need to recognize the elderly is a specialized, is a specialized area. And through that partnership, we are able to offer services, Matron Roberts, Cleopatra White. Um, there's a mobile, I see there's a... Mm, mm, no. Well, they do, they do specific days. They do specialized geriatric care. And every other week at the um, San Pedro Polyclinic. Every third week, we are in um, San Ignacio, partnering with the... Um, San Ignacio Community Hospital, and October week. Additionally, we do outreach in Belize City and San Ignacio. So we do home visits, um, looking after the clients with Parkinson's, with all the different you know, health issues. We go and do that outreach. I'm so health, that's an area. Social service, we partner with the Ministry of Health. We do referrals. So if there are issues as, as it pertains to um, social needs, we communicate with the Ministry of Human Development mm -hmm. and they send out their social workers. There, there, sorry, there, there's a gradient of mm -hmm. older persons mm -hmm. because there's those persons who are closer to the, the, the definitive line of 60 mm -hmm. and some who are, as you say, having challenges in health and otherwise. I, because I can remember sitting with uh, Mr. Henry Young, I remember sitting with uh, Mr. Simeon Sampson. And I, listening to what you're saying in terms of sharing memories, but the knowledge of these gentlemen, yeah. good God, I, I thought if we could bottle oh, two of these guys, mm -hmm. just in terms of the way that they look at current situation and they can merge their experience Absolutely. with understanding. Yeah. And I thought, how is it that we can extract what these champions, these human rights champions, these older persons who are champions of human rights or other issues, how can we get them to register on the national issues or what health? How do we extract as a country the wealth of information and have them participate in a meaningful way? Not just my uncle, yeah. my grand uncle said. Mm -hmm. How do we get them to participate? Well, there has to be <laughs> a concerted effort and, and it will have to have the input of several several entities the media is one of them yeah. yourselves you know journalism investigative journalism putting together people who can who can sit at a wrong table mm -hmm. and say you know ex share their their wealth of knowledge mm -hmm. and put it in a book mm -hmm. you know it, it it there are so many ways that you can extrapolate from where they're sitting to where we can share it with everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. But it takes effort and it takes resources. You know, 
take for instance help age we would love to have members like you and like Marlene who can contribute every month say if you sit on our one of our committees or one of our boards and give your input into it and receive what we have to to share that is the only way but if we keep uh, isolated yeah. yes. you are the older people the, we are the younger people and there is never any you know cross yeah. we're trying on that in Benke we have a young um, chair right yes a yes, very yes. young person who is a chair yeah. and we try to have the youth interact with the older persons but it's on a never another level yeah the level you are speaking at is is talking about the level where we can actually participate in the decision making yeah. of our country it yeah. should be a senator the, the no, I you know I also think that we have got to look at you know if we want to that inclusion of older person we need to look at that multi-sectoral approach or yeah. older persons in Belize the retirement age you're looking at 55 yeah. how can our older persons then be better utilized yeah. as advisors yeah. in mm -hmm. certain ministries yeah. I mean you know in government be an advisors if you if you you know you look at the um, the wider world they're utilizing their older persons yeah. they in have different elderly capacities. intern programs and certainly I think yeah. more older people can be fully utilized in yeah. the public and private sector you know there's a good example we have the, the Commission the um, the um, Public Service Commission mm -hmm. that comprises of retirees mostly mm -hmm. a large number of retirees and they are utilized for their for their experience and their knowledge and I feel strongly for the continued growth and development of this nation we need to look at utilizing our older persons to avert some of the errors yeah. and to reduce some of the challenges that are experiencing that are experiencing different sectors whether private or public so let's let's talk about where some of the areas of of uh, emphasis is for get, for help age at this time you know i love when you talk about intergenerational type programs because it is important you know it's not about mm -hmm utilizing the elderly or the young it's about working together mm -hmm. and having the best results mm -hmm. exactly. um, we've heard stories horror stories really of elderly abuse that does still take place in mm -hmm. this country and we're talking about people who still live at home it's not yes. just like someone who's been left on their own um, talk to us talk to us about where some of your priority areas are at this time and, and what you really want to be able to achieve in impacting the elderly population. Let's start with the okay. Belize, yeah, Belize at the branch. Okay, well, what, what you just said is one, two of the things that we are looking at. Yeah. We are looking at the abuse of the elderly person. Mm -hmm. And for instance, if you notice, we, we start having home invasion. Mm -hmm. We start having attacks mm -hmm. on, on our elderly, you know, and it's something that just burst out of, yeah. of nowhere. So that is one of the, that is one of the um, thing that we are looking at. And we're also looking at the, the home care. Mm -hmm. we, have, we have, even though we have our seniors living home with families, they are abused, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? So mm -hmm. that is one of our, our two things that we're, we're looking at. The yeah. abuse at home and um, the abuse on our seniors, the attacks and um, things like that. Huh? You know, if you're to reflect, or I can, and say, mm -hmm. you know, when I grew up, you respected uh, granny, grandpa, whoever it was, whatever elderly uh, person you had in your family. Mm -hmm. But there's somehow been a change in how we perceive and interact with the elderly population. And, uh, you know, I want to ask, what are your thoughts on that? Wh why is it that we seem to feel more comfortable leaving elderly persons from, from more families? And I'm generalizing, it's not that we do it, mm -hmm. um, ostracized versus included. Well, one of the things that I think has happened in our society is that the traditions and the values that we experience, even when you were a child, what do you think of when what I was a child? Mm -hmm. Children were nourished and disciplined in the home first, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. before they went to school. And there was a, a, there was a sense of values 
taught in the schools mm -hmm. that seems to have kind of gone by the wayside now for some reason or the other. There's other agendas that are coming in now that are taking over what used to be just basic values. Mm -hmm. You know, family, God, and accountability. Those things have kind of gone by the wayside. How do you address that? Because it affects the older persons too. Since 2003, and this is global, mm -hmm. in Madrid, there was the first draft of the rights for older persons. I attended that conference. I was the sole person there for Belize. And we made a declaration to put to the general body we are now in 2018, and there still has not been a convention for the rights of older persons. We have for children, we have for women, we don't have for older persons. There is a breakdown in our society. There's no question about it. How do we address it? Perhaps there has to be a general consensus and a brainstorming of a group of people from all walks of life, including older persons, to decide where do we start? You heard the lady that came just before us. She had some wonderful um, suggestions about starting with children. Mm -hmm. Targeting, when you say target, you mean going out in the different areas that we know are the people that are generating the children who, are, who go into the lives of crime. Those are the children that we need to look at first. Those are the families we need to assist. And those are the older grandparents that we need to look at and say, how are you being treated in this environment? It has to be holistic. And it has to be a general burgeoning of the spirit of what Belize has always been and can be again. I like the fact that you went directly to the family mm -hmm. because I think that a lot of times, and, and if I could just jump in in terms of my own opinion mm -hmm. as to why, I think Marlene um, spoke to something that's in my heart, which is, as you said, there's been a change in our society. But I don't know if you guys would agree with me that part of the change is how we value things. One of the values that I had and of my grandparents. I have a grandmother that's 104 years old. Congratulations. Yes. Mm -hmm. And another one that's in her mm -hmm. mid-90s. And for me, the, what I gather from them, what I get from them in my life was knowledge. I would sit at their feet and I would just listen to them talk. I'm the, I'm the child who would be there to say, go in your room and talk to you. Mm -hmm. um, but now in this generation, information comes by the World Wide Web. So I no longer need my grandfather teach me to make a kite. I Google it. Hmm. And so information technology has really affected to my mind the way we view older persons. What do you talk about? I already know that because I've already seen it on cable TV or, um, or on YouTube. Can you talk to us about how the stakeholders um, help each Belize is utilizing information technology to sort of bridge the gap in terms of allowing both all generations to work together to see the value and benefit of working together. Okay, great. <laughs> um, you know, I'm I, cool. <laughs> I want you to know, all older persons, we're trying to keep them abreast of technology. Yeah. We have work with Smart. We have work with BTL. And they have had session on the art of on the arts of texting, the utilization of the phone, um, utilization of the internet. You know, we from time to time we partner with inter international bodies. So we had had them set up their 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 page. You know, their nice. email. Yeah. Their email. So we Ganga you know Facebook. their senior surfers. <laughs> yes, yes. You see. So and at the same time we have this interaction with students all across the, the, the country. Yeah. And now we, we have to keep them apprised how mm -hmm. to WhatsApp, mm -hmm. how to, to 
to tech, you know, the texting aspect. Let's start with some basic. And also, we need to share with you that we have received um, tablets from the Ministry of Education, and we have distributed these tablets countrywide. Um, we see, or I could recall one ex um, experience shared with us in, in Benke with one of her elderly, Mr. Water, she was complaining about her grandchildren on the on the on these tablets. tablets. <laughs> and when she learned the tablets, they're complaining <laughs> about her <laughs> on the tablet. And if you look at our patroness, she's quite versed. She, uh -huh. she, she, uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> she's there in the meeting and she's there on her tablets, you know, taking her minutes. Then it then it must about You know so I think we're, we, we are getting there, and from time to time we have educational sessions yeah. with different entities. Yeah. I love that, because technology is not reserved for one population, no, you know. No. It's just about learning to use it, and w trust me, once you learn to use it, that's it. There, yeah. you, you take off from there. Uh, so that, that's a great aspect. I want to bring it back, though, to, to the uh, celebration this week so we can all uh, join in. What, what's on the schedule? We're not just celebrating the International Day of Older Persons, which was October 1st, mm -hmm. but we're taking it for the full week so that it can stay in the forefront. Okay, for this week, your microphone. we have several things. Your microphone, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. For this week, we have several activities going on. Yeah. Like, for instance, Sunday, we had a church service at St. Joseph Church. Mm -hmm. Monday, we had a game, a bingo game, with prizes and surprises. Mm -hmm. And on Tuesday, which is today, we have a spa day. Ooh. So you can get your, your manicure and your pedicure. Put you up. Mm -hmm. yes, <laughs> pretty up. <laughs> and Thursday, we, we, we have a special, we normally do uh, meals on wheels. Mm -hmm. And um, today is a special. So today they're getting a special lunch because of the, the senior week. Yeah. Yeah. Turkey dinner. Turkey dinner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. And, um, and Friday we have a tea party. Okay. Now we have a, a very big tea party. It's it's um you can come with all your fancy hats and everything. Oh. And and it's cheap. The tickets are very cheap. It's just ten dollars per person. What time is it? Wow. It's like from two until six. Where? Okay. Right at the health page um, grounds. Mm -hmm. Where where's that again? Um, Wilson, Street. Wilson, Wilson Street. Street. Wilson Street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the aged care complex. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We it have shares the residential space. home, yeah. the therapy center, and our activity center. So my oh, final so question, uh -huh, go ahead. So Friday is the big day yeah. to close the... And it's, it's not just for people who use HelpAge or Sister Cecilia's, no. it's for no, anyone. It's open, it's mm -hmm. open. Yeah. It's no, no big dance? No dance is time. What? Mm -hmm. what? Not, not for this week, at least. <laughs> <laughs> That's for the gala. Oh, you know, oh, that's that's for the here gala. for the gala. Oh, what is the gala? It's me. <laughs> either Mother's Day if it's a woman or okay. Father's Day if it's a man. Oh, depending on who the awardee is. Yes. Yes. Oh. But if the music is good, you never know. Because oh. these seniors are something else. Mm -hmm. They will get up and dance. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. But you know, every they Wednesday, with our exercise, you know, with this Cuban's um, physiotherapist, mm -hmm. there is exercise session, but it's fun filled with a lot of dancing. Yeah. You know, they're exercising, but it, the music is on and they're moving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so my final question, just how can we help? But what can the rest of the society do mm -hmm. to ensure that uh, we're all doing our part in contributing towards the best quality of life of the elderly population in Belize? Using your voice to, to get the message out. Mm -hmm. You know, several years ago, I think it was uh, the mid-90s, Channel 5 did a beautiful, it, it, it was sponsored by Help the Aged Canada, mm -hmm. but Channel 5 actually put in a lot of uh, volunteerism too. Mm -hmm. And they went countrywide and they interviewed older people. One of the ones that they interviewed was Panti, the, yes. the healer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then another one, I can't remember his name, but he used to do um, dories. He used to get these huge logs and hollow out these dories that were used in pit pan races. Mm -hmm. Another one was a healer in, in Ladyville. Things like that, if we could partner, yeah. where we could, as you say, bring people like Henry Young yes. and like your grandfather, who have, grandmother, who <laughs> have all the lores and traditions and 
legends of our culture and do a program where every week we showcase one of these people. And that brings on the, the feeling of pride mm -hmm. to know that we come from these people. Yeah. These are our people. Mr. Lester for president. <laughs> you know, um, another strategy we want to look at and is to invite retirees right across the country to become members of HelpAge. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to take HelpAge to another level. Yeah. So we want to utilize the expertise, their skills, to just look at whichever branch they would want to be a part of. Yeah in our six districts yeah. to come in and join us mm -hmm. and to make a difference in their lives mm -hmm. and the lives of older persons. At the same time too, we are appealing to, uh, to office people who are quite active to come in and join because they would provide the, the level of connections, yeah. you know, to help us in taking help here to another level. Maybe for starters, you can go into the archives mm -hmm. and, and bring find out some of these and things. Yeah, find that um, yeah. that program definitely, and def bring back those people who have passed away a few years now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, uh, how do people get their tickets for the tea party? Okay, you can call the help page. Mm -hmm. You can call the help page and um, get some tickets. Mm -hmm. But right now, unfortunately, we are sold out. Oh. And you can call two hundred tickets our, as our tickets. guests. Right? Wow. Yes, yes, right. yes. As yes. our very as special our VIP right. guests. Wow. And I was just thinking of buying a brand new shirt and taking my <laughs> mother on a date. We just went to, <laughs> no. we just went to Queen of the Bee. <laughs> no. so I was thinking, I think, well, I think we, 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 can, we, can, we, can, we can accommodate her. <laughs> Ladies, thank you so much for coming in and just, I mean, this is only scratching the surface of the work that you're doing and that uh -huh. you want to do, um, but it really gives us a great reminder as to why we all have to consider what we're doing mm -hmm. uh, to contribute towards this cause. Thank you so much thank and best you. of luck with the rest of your celebrations thank this week. You. Uh, thank you. We're going to bless all the older persons <laughs> out there and the young too. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and take a break. When we come back, we'll be talking about new